the limits of exponential functions can be solved using direct substitution. Because if we try to review the, the rule of or the property of exponential functions, the first thing that we can observe here is if you have f of x is equal to a raised to x, and again, this a here, this a here is um, between 0 and 1 and greater than 1. So it means to say it's not equal to 0, not equal to 1, and should not be a negative number. Now this x here is the set of all real numbers. So you can have any number in the substitution. So this one is exponential function. Okay, so we just need to understand again that a raised to x will never be, it will never be less than zero, will never be equal to zero. Okay, so it means to say this a raised to x will always be greater than zero. So that is something that you need to remember, especially when we deal with exponential functions. Now to evaluate the exponential function, we can just do direct substitution. So let's say number one, limit of three raised to x minus one. So we substitute x equals two to three raised to x minus one. So we have three raised to two minus one, and that will be nine minus one. That is equal to 8. On the second example, substitute negative 1 to x. So 2 raised to negative 1 plus 1. And since 2 raised to negative 1 is 1 half, so we have 1 half plus 1 is equal to 3 over 2, which is also equal to 1.5. Or that is also equal to 1 and 1 half in mixed form. On the next example, Substitute 0, so we have negative 5 raised to 0 minus 5, and any number raised to 0 except 0 is 1. So we have negative 1 minus 5, negative 6. Next, we have limit of e raised to x plus 1 as x approaches 0. So we have e raised to 0 plus 1, substitute e raised to 0 is 1, so 1 plus 1, that will give you 2. The other example, 3 raised to x minus 9, 3 raised to 2 minus 9, and that will be 9. Minus 9 equals 0. And the last example, limit of negative 5 raised to x minus 5 as x approaches 0 will be negative 5 raised to 0 minus 5 is equal to negative 1 minus 5, and that is negative 6. So in these examples, we can observe here constants 2, negative 3, 1 third. So you can just do direct substitution. So let's have number one. Limit of two times three raised to x minus one. Let x be equal to one. So we have two times three raised to one minus one. And that will be two times three minus one is two. The answer is four. On the second example, let x be equal to negative two. So negative three times two raised to negative two. And that will be negative 3 times 1 fourth because 2 raised to negative 2 is equal to 1 over 2 raised to 2. And the final answer is negative 3 over 4. In the other example, 1 third raised, uh, times 3 raised to 0. Let x be equal to 0. Minus 3 is equal to 1 third. 3 raised to 0 is 1, so 1 minus 3. That will be one third times negative two. So the final answer is negative two over three. So we can also have quotients 
for as long as we are applying the exponential rules. Let us have the first. Limit of 2 times 3 raised to x minus 3 divided by 5x minus 1 as x approaches 0. So we let x be equal to 0. So 2 times 3 raised to 0 minus 3 over 5 times 0 minus 1. So this will be 2 times 3 raised to 0 is 1. 1 minus 3 over 5 times 0 is 0. So we have negative 1. So this will be 2 times negative 2 over negative 1. So the final answer is 4. Next, limit of 3 raised to x plus x as x approaches 2. Substitute let x be equal to 2, so we have square root of 3 raised to 2 plus 2 is now equal to square root of 9 plus 2. So the answer is square root of 11. The other example, we let x be equal to 0. So we have e raised to 0 minus 1 is equal to e raised to negative 1, which is equal to 1 over e. So, we just have to use direct substitution when we deal with exponential functions. But there are also cases wherein direct substitution cannot be used because of special limits. And that will be discussed on our next lessons.